I don't want to hurt you. I just want the car over my dead body. Mm. Don't forget, we got a date tonight. Where are we going? It's secret. Put your seatbelt on. You stole another car? Stop saying that. I told you, I don't steal cars. I repossess them. Same thing. It's not stealing if the car doesn't legally belong to the owner anymore. Don't they teach you anything in school? Yeah, they teach us not to steal. I'm late for school again, Dad. I know. Tell them I'm sorry. What's that? What's what? That. On your shirt. It's just a stain. You got hurt again, didn't you, Dad? Molly, don't worry about me. It's bad enough I worry about you all the time. <laughs> Come on. Go to school and then go straight home to Mrs. Johnson when you get out. And don't talk to strangers. I know, Dad. Give me a kiss. Mm. Bye, Dad. Bye, sweetie. Love you. Nice car, homeboy. Smells new. Don't you love that smell? Imagine losing a car like this. Here, they left this for you. Ooh. Hey, Carla, what do you say we burn up the town this weekend, huh? Just me and you, babe. <laughs> I'm going to Vegas for Easter, babe. Hey, Danny. Hey, Carla. Hey, it's the Karate Kid. You get that link for me? Outside. Nice facelift, Tony. Yeah, a bunch of greaseballs jumped me at the derby last night. Motherfuckers busted my nose. One card. They talk to Carla. She got an order for you to pick up a Beamer. Good luck. Oh, by the way, Molly's babysitter called in sick again. Oh, Jesus, I'm going to have to leave early today. Hey, Sal. Calm down. I called the agency for a sub. You found someone? Relax. Go steal a car. Thanks, Carla. I owe you. Bet your ass you do. Excuse me. Is this the parking garage for the Franklin building? Certainly hope so. Otherwise, I'm on the wrong stool.
Excuse me. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Danny Holt, Sal's Repo. We understand you've been skipping your car payments, so unfortunately this car doesn't belong to you anymore. We got a legal seizure on it. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to take the car. I'm gonna count to three. And I hope you've disappeared by the time I finish. I don't want to hurt you. I just want the car. Ah! Oh! Shit, I can't see the van. Weird cigarettes. Hey, Marty, check this out. The vehicle ID number on the dash doesn't match the one on the repo order. <coughs> Who smokes this shit? Hey, man, are you listening to me or what? Yes, yeah, so what? The plates match the order? Carl probably just screwed up the paperwork. I'm gonna tell her you said that. My girlfriend and I are going to Las Vegas for Easter. Oh, yeah. Why should I lose your shirt? I should be so lucky. Well, goodbye. Bye, Carla. Have fun. Ooh. All right, I'm out of here. Here, babe. You and your girlfriend have a happy Easter. Oh, thanks, Sal. <laughs> and don't start the holiday too early. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bye, boys. Darling, the place is better for me, honey. Jesus Christ, full boat. Oh, full boat. Look at this guy. Bye bye. Take it all. Lovers? Bets again. Let's 
Private property you're touching there. That private property belongs to me. Oh, yeah. An employee of yours, a uh, Mr. Holt, took my car this morning. I'd like to have it back. It's a black BMW. Gee, that's too bad, Mr. Uh... Okay, Mr. Whoever your name is. You see, we got a rule. It says no repossessed car could be released without direct orders from the bank. Well, that's a fine rule. Except in this case, you happen to have taken the wrong car. You know how many guys come in here with that story? Look, if there's some kind of misunderstanding between you and the bank, you're going to have to take it up with them. I need Now, if it's a matter of money, you put that shit away. You take your pretty boys and get out of here. <laughs> oh, you're not a very smart man. I think it's the other way around. Now, come on. Get the hell out of here. Larry, tell Ron to bring the beamer around. Hold it! Go with it. Hey, Sal, I was gonna bring... Come in. Don't worry, they'll kill you. Come inside, move away from the door. No! No! Last 
chance to live. I don't know what you're talking about. Stay where you are, we're sending help. Who are you? LAPD. Now put the gun down. You guys got here awful quick. We were the closest unit. The gun. Nice and slow. Who are you? Danny Holt. I work here. It's clean. What happened, Danny? I went out for lunch when I came back. Who did this? I don't know. Whose Beamer's out front? I repossessed it this morning. What was in it? Nothing unusual, some papers, a briefcase. Nothing unusual. No. Why? Come on, Danny. That car's been turned inside out. You must have found something. Why are you still holding the gun on me? Shut up! Turn around! Can you do this quick, Joe? Torn this place apart, come on. Carla, where are you? It's Shannon. Oh, I'm here. Oh, I'm running I'm here, late. I'm here. I went to aerobics. I'm coming. Got caught up on the way back. Oh, I'm here, Shannon. You were out? No, I was just drying my hair. Are you kidding? No, I'm ready. Well, I'm almost ready. Well, I just finished packing. So when are you coming over? I'm on my way. Good. You're not going to make us late again, are you? No, I just have to pack up a few things. Well, get your ass into gear. Mm. I'm walking out the door oh. as we speak. No. <laughs> You scared me half to death. Who are you? I'm Lisa. I'm filling in for Miss Johnson. Didn't they tell you she's sick? Where's Molly? I don't know. She didn't come home yet. I was just making some tea. She's late. I'm going to call the school. What's the matter? 
They shot them all. What? What are you talking about? Tony, Sal, the whole goddamn crew. Somebody shot them. Why? Was there a robbery or something? The office was ripped apart, like they were looking for something. What did the police say? The police? Yeah, you did call the police, didn't you? Yeah, I called them. Two guys showed up. They weren't cops. Well, who were they? I don't know. They asked a lot of questions about a BMW I repossessed this morning. I think they were trying to trick me or something. after you left, sir. Still warm. Good work, kid. All right, I've been able to ID all the bodies, but the employee files are missing, so I figure maybe we've got a disgruntled worker who's just trying to cover his tracks. Nah, someone's looking for more than just employee files here. Okay, look, we got a girl who punched out early. We got eight guys still on the time clock, but we only got seven stiffs here. So who's not dead? It's this one. It's Danny Holt. Are you okay? Yeah. We must have something they want. Are you sure you didn't take anything by mistake? No one from school called. No. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Your girlfriend called and she said to thank you for the chocolates. My girlfriend? Well, didn't you give somebody chocolates? Wait a minute. Was it Carla? Yeah, that sounds like it. What are you doing? I think Carla's in trouble. My daughter. Who's got it? Weiss. And it should be a very interesting meeting. Freeze! Freeze! Put the piece down. Do it, asshole! Sanchez? Yes. Police, can we come in? What do you want? We're investigating a multiple homicide at the repo yard. This is a joke, right? Excuse me? 
Is this one of Sal's gags? No, ma'am. We just found seven bodies at Sal's repo. Are you serious? Yeah, can we come in? Oh my God, Carla. Don't move. <gasps> Put your hands on that wall. Don't, don't you, I won't scream. Just keep looking at that wall. Who are you? I'm Shannon, Shannon McCormick, Carla's friend. Show me some ID. Take it out slow. What are you doing here? I was, uh, picking up Carla to go to the airport. That's right. You were going to Miami. No, um, Vegas. Is that your car outside? gonna hurt you I didn't kill Carla those guys on the floor did they killed everybody at the repo office what do you want just stay calm come here sit down while I make a phone call all right Calling the police? Let's 
scum. She's scum. Yes. Who is this? It's not very nice of you to take my car, Repo Man. Weiss. But it's not the Easter Bunny. Where's my daughter? She's right here with me. Would you like to talk to her? Put her on. Daddy? Molly? Are you all right, sweetheart? I'm scared. When are you coming to get me? Real soon, honey. That's what we're talking about now. They made me go with them, Daddy. I tried to get away. I kicked them. It's not your fault, baby. Everything's going to be fine. Remember, we got a date tonight. Molly? I have a terrible sweet tooth, Repo Man. I want my chocolates. No chocolates? No girl. Don't hurt her, Weiss. I've got your box of chocolates right here. Meet me tonight at 10 o'clock at the Cane Company of State and Grand Streets. And do try not to damage my Easter box. I'm very, very fond of it. They kidnapped your daughter? I, I don't understand. Because of the chocolates? How old is she? Ten. Would you take me to your place? My place? I just need some place safe to sort this out. I can't do that. I, I don't I don't even know who you are. Danny Holt. You work with Carla. Will you help me? Don't you think you should call the police if your daughter's been kidnapped? I can't trust the police. Wasn't there anyone you can trust? They're all dead. Wait a minute. I got an idea on the dead girl. Her name's Linda Porter. She's a substitute babysitter. Holt's well, regular babysitter called in sick. What about his kid? Well, school says she left at the usual time, but nobody's seen her since. Oh, and uh, one other thing. Holt's definitely got a record. Drunk driving, resisting arrest, three counts of assaulting a police officer. Got into a car accident with a bunch of cops. Supposedly kicked the shit out of three of our guys. Yeah, well, he's a cop killer now. Where's the telephone? On the table. Who are you calling now? I thought you couldn't trust anyone. Motor vehicle. Judy Bishop, please. Your school teacher? Fourth grade. This is Judy. Hi, Judy. It's Danny. I've got a VIN on a BMW. I need to know who owns it. Can't do it now. I'm up to my ears. Judy, this is a real emergency. This one's gonna cost. What do you mean? I mean dinner next week. Just you and me. Any place you want. Woo! Hallelujah. Give me the VIN. JT2-011712. Don't do that. Don't you want to know what you're up against? That's odd. What? The car's never been registered. How can that be? The plates are current. That's what's on the computer. Damn it. The 
plates must have been stolen. Why? What happened? Don't tell me you took the wrong car. Never mind, I'll call you later. Thanks. Shannon, I need those. This is what they want. Any idea what it could be? You're in over your head, you know. You should call the police immediately. No cops. Danny? Your daughter's been kidnapped. You have to call the police. Not until I see what's on the news. Well, on the news? Why? What are you afraid of? How do I know they're not going to try to blame me for these killings? Because that's ridiculous. No, it isn't. I'm the only survivor. There are no other witnesses. You thought I killed Carla. Look, Danny, I know you're under a lot of stress right now. And, it, and it's probably hard to think straight. But I think you're acting a little paranoid. My wife was killed in a car accident. A drunk driver hit us. Sorry. The drunk driver was a cop. When the other cops showed up, they let their friend go and arrested me. They put in the reports that I caused the accident. Oh my God. I don't know what to say. Uh... Well, whoever they are, they're posing as cops. Hey, Lieutenant, FBI's here. They're here now? What the hell are they doing here? I don't want them at the scene. I, I don't know. I just called them to run an ID on the stiffs. Lieutenant Garcia? Who the hell are you? I'm Garcia. How do you do, madam? Agent Sterling, FBI. This is my partner, Agent Hardy. This is a private party. I haven't handed out invitations. Well, no problem, ma'am. We're not here to ruffle feathers. Mind if we uh, just have a quick look around? Depends. On what? On what you're looking for. We'll know when we see it. You haven't found anything we should know about, have you? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. You know them? Uh, he looks familiar. All right, Sterling, what the hell is going on here? You guys didn't come down here for just an ID check. Cooperation is a two-way street, Lieutenant. Parker, bring that thing over here. You know what this is? Looks like a chocolate rabbit. No, the silver thing. No, ma'am. But you know who the stiffs are? Foreign agents, they work for Middle Eastern interests. I suspect whoever killed him was also professional. Actually, we're not so sure. Our suspect's a guy named Danny Holt. Never heard of him, you? He's a repo man. He's a repo man? You mean an assassin? He repossesses cars for banks. Could be an undercover operative. Maybe he's a player out for himself. You, you guys seem a little lost on this. Uh, if we're dealing with foreign agents, shouldn't we contact the CIA? With all due respect, madam, screw the CIA. We're on domestic soil. This is our jurisdiction. Coming up next, a newlywed couple is tragically killed moments after a wedding ceremony in a collision with a drunk driver. And after a long, fierce court battle, an historical landmark finally Forget bites it. the dust. They're not reporting it. I'm not crazy. Seven guys were killed at that repo yard. Then how come it's not on the news? That's what we're going to find out.
whole place was cleaned up. Like nothing ever happened. I don't get it. Why cover this thing up? And what does ordering a news blackout buy you? Time, madam. Time for what? To keep our friends in town, a lot of attention is sure to scare them off. Lieutenant, I, I got your dinner. Carla, I'm not here. By now, I'm probably relaxing in a hotel jacuzzi. Leave a message. Carla, where are you? It's Shannon. Yeah. I'm running late. I went to Phone company traced the last call from here to a local cellular exchange. Probably the Weisses. Good. You know what to do. Police car following us. There's an alley up ahead on the right. When I say hit the gas and then turn, you got that? Okay. Where's the alley? Just turn when I say. Turn now! Don't you think we've taken enough chances for one night? I mean, do we really have to steal this car? I don't steal cars. We're just borrowing this. You like to chew gum, huh? It's nicotine gum. I, I just quit smoking. It'll be a miracle if I make it through this night without a cigarette. Here you go. It's seaweed and tofu. That's all I have, sorry. Good thing I'm not hungry. It's, it's not that bad. Caffeine's all I need. Oh, that's decaf. Any cream? Soy milk. Molasses. I won't ask if you got sugar. Hello? This is Holt. Cane Company's no good for me. Let's meet someplace local, somewhere public. Are you there? 
now. Who is this? Weiss. No, it isn't. Where's Weiss? I'll see if he's here. This is crazy. What's wrong? It's like playing a game of charades. This whole day, everybody's pretending to be somebody they're not. No good. They hung up before I could finish. What's the problem? You had plenty of time. Look, Hardy, this wasn't exactly your everyday trace. <clears throat> that phone call went directly to Weiss's cellular exchange. Then the phone company rerouted it to our cellular exchange. Then they transmitted it here. <coughs> That's a lot of shit to trace. <coughs> but he's somewhere in this neighborhood. What was that name we heard on the phone machine? Shannon. See if there are any listings in that area for the first name Shannon. This burn is driving me crazy. How'd you get it? Finding the babysitter. She wasn't really the babysitter. She was one of their people. Hell of a fighter. She got burned a lot worse than I did, though. Thanks, Shannon. Well, these things get infected if you don't take care of them. I meant for everything. Helping me. Do you have a picture of Molly with you? Good evening, sir. It is charades. Look, I just want to get the damn thing analyzed. I want to know what the hell the feds are looking for. All right. Bolt was spotted at the yard. He got away, but we traced the car he was in. Here's the owner's address. But you're not a professional player, Mr. Holt. It's wonderful news, don't you think so, Hardy? Wonderful news, sir. Even better news is that we got to you first, you probably live longer. And now, sir, we have a great opportunity. What opportunity? To save lives. Perhaps millions. Those chocolates contain nuclear triggers. They're being smuggled out of the States for a Middle Eastern country. What Middle Eastern country? I'm sorry. That's classified. Nuclear triggers for bombs? That's right. This is your chance to be a big hero. With your cooperation, we can disable a major weapons leak and keep these triggers from getting into Arab hands. What about my daughter? Well, naturally, we'll do all we can to get her back safely. How can I help? Let's start with the chocolates. Well, this morning I repossessed a BMW. 
Turns out it's the wrong BMW. The plates were stolen off the car I was looking for. What I mean, Mr. Holt, is for you to tell us where the chocolates are. I'm getting to that. After I found the chocolates in the car, I put them in the office. Later, two guys showed up pretending to be cops. I think they had the chocolates. Mr. Holt, where are the chocolates? Have you seen any chocolates? I only eat carob. We've heard stories that the police botched the investigation into the car accident involving your wife's death. I know that must be very difficult for you. Unfortunately, you are once again in a position to be blamed for something you may not have done. Where are the chocolates? I ate them. Arrest him, gentlemen. On what charge? Possession of government property, obstructing a federal investigation, and that's for starters. that, Mr. Holt? Maybe you'd like to change your mind? Where is he? Where is he? Check the bedroom. Hey, hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it. Stop it! You guys, you are out of your jurisdiction. This is a police investigation. Do you hear me, Sterling? You're out of your jurisdiction! You hear that, Sterling? You have no jurisdiction here! Hey, he's getting away! Get him! Go! 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 What are you waiting for? Go! Go! need an edge, Danny. I think I've got one.
Molly. Give me the candy. I want to see my daughter first. She couldn't make it. Where is she? Just give me the candy and maybe we'll let you see her. Easter.
think that John now. When you relax, that was like a feature. The lieutenant's disappointed that you're not the cold-blooded killer she dreamed of catching. They were going to kill me. Lucky we know where to find you. That was you guys on the phone, pretending to be Weiss, wasn't it? That's how you knew. Nasty stuff, that tear gas. You'll feel better in a few minutes. What you Move in. Move in. Just keep going. Keep the Barkley, get the door. Got it, sir. Where's Molly? Where is she? Eat, eat, eat. Answer me! Oh, don't worry about that monkey. We'll take care of him. We'll take care of him. We'll take over from here. Guess what, Joe? What? They did it again. Did what? The warning lights on. We're almost out of gas. Oh, jeez. I think these jerks would check the gas before they go out on the job, but no, not the FBI. Joe, open the gas tank. back on track about goddamn time how much does the fbi know nothing they still think we're fbi agents uh sir what should we do about the girl who was kidnapped do nothing this is an unsanctioned operation we pulled a lot of strings to plant you guys don't fuck it up
much, gentlemen. Lisa will see you out. Government issue. Wonder where he got this. Your father has excellent taste in chocolate. But he's a fool. He doesn't seem to care whether you live or die. Ow! Real smart idea switching chocolate to Repo Man. How's your sweet tooth? Listen, shithead. I'm leaving to get your plane in exactly one hour. If you are not in the rear parking lot of 211 Bishop Street before then, you can start making funeral arrangements for your daughter. What'd he say? Look at this. Berlin Hotel and Restaurant? Look at the address. It's near the address Weiss just gave me. I don't get it. There were a bunch of those parking stubs in the BMW. You think he's in the restaurant? You don't know what he looks like, though, do you? Doesn't matter. I can't meet Weiss on his own terms. I almost got killed last time. I can't let him have these. What if they're ever used? Danny, you don't have a choice. Are you crazy? These triggers were never going to save Molly. It's just in case. I'm supposed to meet a man named Weiss. I think he had a reservation. Well, let's see. Yes. Just a minute, please. Sorry, miss, but uh, he says there must be some mistake. He doesn't know you at all. Do you have a cigarette? I'm sorry, I don't, but uh, there is a machine in the ladies' lounge. Thank you. I'll take care of it.
Move. <laughs> Put the gun down. It's okay, baby, I'm here. Are you all right? See if he has the triggers. Daddy! Check her. Come on, get it first. did. The triggers are useless. You destroyed the triggers. That son of a bitch. We don't have time for this. Do them all. Let's go. No. Joe, they killed him. Shit. Let her go, for God's sake. She's just a kid. Sorry. Close your eyes, sweetheart. The fuck? You're shooting blanks, asshole. Stay here. What the hell's going on? Let's go. The hell you are. Making a mistake. We're with the company. Company? Your CIA? Hey, he's quick. Are you always this quick or is it just a day? You knew what Weiss was up to all along. And you just stood by while he killed eight people and kidnapped my daughter? He's dead, Joe. You know how long we've been setting up this deal. 
You wanted him to have the triggers? Let's just say it would have been in everyone's best interest if some of our Arab friends were as well equipped as their Arab neighbors. Jesus, why didn't you just give it to them? Goddamn Congress always has their hands tied. Let's get out of here. That's it? You don't even stick around to pick up the pieces? Ken, we're out of our jurisdiction. You see, you never saw us. And we're not really here right now. Uh, wait a minute. If you're not really here, you won't feel this. <laughs>